Hey y'all, I'm Jasmine and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys some tips that I use to help me decide between medical school and pharmacy school. I've been seeing these videos circle around YouTube. I know you guys may be interested. So if you are, make sure you keep watching. Also, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to know more about me, my lifestyle, and pharmacy and know more about A Dose of Jasmine. Thanks for watching y'all. So one of the first things that I did when trying to decide between medical school and pharmacy school was to go on a graduate school tour. And on this graduate school tour, um, it was hosted by my university, but I went and I visited different medical schools. And I always tell this story, but when I went to one of the medical schools, they took us to a cadaver lab. And I will never forget one of the cadavers. I kind of, it kind of freaked me out. Like, um, I don't know if you guys know, but in medical school, we have to do a lot of anatomy and physiology. So a lot of dissecting and learning about the human body. And when I went to the cadaver lab, I had this aha moment like, this literally is not for me. Like, I don't like blood, I don't like guts, I don't like death, I don't like dealing with all those things. So I don't know if medical school is for me. And when deciding between the two, you definitely need to think about your personality type. Um, and I am not the kind of person that can deal with those things. Um, I am also a little bit anxious. So I don't know if the idea of people's lives being in my hands work out for me so the first thing I considered when trying to decide between medical school and pharmacy school was my personality type and the different things that you have to do in the degree program so in pharmacy school you don't necessarily have to do um, very hands-on like dissecting and things like that but pharmacy school can be a little bit hands-on with things like compounding so making different medications um, so I guess I would say if you are really stuck between the two and your personality aligns with both, look at the curriculum and see what sounds interesting to you. So look at a pharmacy school curriculum and a medical school curriculum and see which classes would I want to take more or what seems like it would be a better option for me. So another thing that I consider when trying to decide between medical school and pharmacy school are the career opportunities that you can pursue post-graduation in both degree programs. So another part of my story is after this graduate school tour and I was like, what am I going to do because I am pre-med right now and I need to decide, is I went to one of my professor's office, Dr. Baines, and he told me to combine science with something that I really love. And at the time I was like, ooh, cosmetics. I love cosmetics and I love cosmetic science. So I decided to look up careers in cosmetic science and voila, the careers under, or the degree programs for cosmetic science were under pharmacy schools. So deciding the type of career that you wanna have post-graduation will help you decide which career or degree program you wanna pursue. Um, spoiler alert, I don't wanna do cosmetic science anymore, but it did help me decide what I wanted to do um, for a degree program. So I would say think about the opportunities that you can have after graduation. Um, I ultimately chose pharmacy because of the career flexibility. So if I wanted to do cosmetic science, I could. If I wanted to work in a community setting, I could. If I wanted to work in a hospital, I could. If I wanted patient interaction, I could have that. So make sure you think about what exactly you wanna do after you graduate and not just the journey to that career opportunity. So another thing that you wanna consider, um, it may seem pretty trivial, but the amount of time that you're gonna to have to spend in these programs and the amount of time that you're gonna to have to spend to get to your ultimate career goals. So in medical school, you have four years of school, then you have to complete a residency, and if you're alive, you have to complete a fellowship. And initially I thought, oh, pharmacy school is gonna be much shorter. But in reality, the way that pharmacy school works now is the time periods are almost the same. So in pharmacy school, you have to do two years of prerequisite courses, but most students now are doing a four-year degree before entering pharmacy school. Pharmacy school is another four years, and then after that, most students are now doing residency programs that range from one to two years. Um, and then you can also do a fellowship, um, but in pharmacy school, you don't have to do a residency and a fellowship, you can do either or. So the amount of time that you're spending in medical school and the amount of time that you're spending in pharmacy school isn't that different. So you want to consider the amount of time, but in reality, that should not dictate exactly what you do. Um, the amount of time should just give you an idea of what you should expect for each program because each program is pretty long. Each program gives you a doctorate degree. Um, so yeah, consider the amount of time it's going to take. I mentioned this before, but you have to think about the content that you're going to be studying while you're in these degree programs. So um, looking at the curriculum is really helpful, but in pharmacy, I've noticed that our curriculum focuses on the medications themselves. So pharmacology, pharmacotherapy, um, 
molecular foundations of drug action. So you are literally the go-to person for all things medication related. So your knowledge base will be very heavily focused on medications. Whereas in medical school, your knowledge is gonna be focused on diagnosing and hands-on things with the human body, anatomy and physiology. So you really have to consider the content that you're gonna be studying because in reality, you're gonna be in school for four years. <laughs> so you have to genuinely like what you're gonna do. So when deciding, think about the classes that you're gonna to have to take and if they'll make you happy, if you're gonna be excited about going to class and learning these different concepts. So the last thing I would say to consider is the salary that you're gonna make post-graduation. So in pharmacy, if you do pursue a residency program, the salary is gonna be a little bit lower than residents who are MDs or who have medical degrees. So residency salary is lower for pharmacies, for pharmacists, and after residency, the amount of money that you can make long-term in your career can be lower for pharmacists, but in reality, both careers give you the opportunity to make six figures after graduation. So always try to consider the amount of money that you're gonna make afterward because both, <laughs> You have to take out student loans to go to medical school and pharmacy school unless you are a very special person. So try to consider the salary that you're going to make post-graduation. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you learned some of the tips that I use to decide between medical school and pharmacy school. I hope this video helped. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below with any questions that you may have. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to know more about me, my lifestyle, and pharmacy. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.